Welcome to a brief demonstration of Eon Merged XR. We'll begin with step one, scanning your environment or object. Using a device with LiDAR technology, you'll be able to capture your environment or object around you uh, simply by scanning, aiming your device at that location and capturing the surface area, such as you're seeing right now. I'm able to walk around this space, angle it in different positions to capture uh, this surface area. I can get closer, stand a little further back, and I'm just going to walk around the space, scanning up and down and around, uh, making sure all these different angles are being captured. As I move about the, the space here, uh, as soon as I complete my scan, I will click on that red button and I'll be able to save this as a file. Again, I'm using a third-party app. Uh, now we proceed to the second step, which is to export this file into the Eon XR platform. You'll be able to name the asset that you just scanned and uh, begin the uploading process. Again, make sure you are logged in to your Eon XR app, and this will bring you right into that import 3D asset area. And as soon as that upload is complete, you will proceed to the next step of setting that thumbnail. And as soon as this upload it reaches 100%, an image of your model will appear on the left-hand side. At this point, you will be able to take a snapshot of that model and place it exactly on the angle that you want it to appear on your lesson content. As soon as this is completed, it'll go through another upload process of setting that thumbnail. And then you'll be able to click on Create Lesson to proceed the, on, in the creation phase. And you'll be taken to this lesson template where you'll be able to edit the title and set a category and catalog it to its appropriate department. And you'll be placed into the Eon XR creation area where you'll have all the tools of Eon XR to begin building out your, your content in this experience. But what's great about Eon Merged XR is that you'll be able to begin step three, create an augmented reality mode. So here I'm back on location and I'll be able to place this object in AR mode. And I can see the scan that I, I just completed. And there's my model. Lower right hand corner of the screen, there's a plus button. Touch on that button, and we'll begin with that first option, the microphone icon. This is where you'll be able to add annotations to your model. I'm just going to first set my point with that red dot, set the location, and then I'll speak into the microphone. It's going to capture any keywords that I say. And there are two different options here. We'll select that first option, and that will simply add an annotation to that specific point. I'm going back into that first option again, and this time I'm going to repeat that process, but we'll select the second option below that, and we're going to add an annotation with media. I would add annotation media, and that will bring back several uh, descriptions. I, I can browse text definitions. I can look at images related to that keyword, as well as any videos that will come up related to that specific content. Simply tapping on any one of these elements, I'll be able to add that to the, the annotation that I just created. And in this example, I'm using a video and using that little hand icon on the lower right hand corner, I can neatly place that in a different area, expand it out, uh, but it will be tied to that specific annotation. Second option to the right of that is your, your AI search button. Once again, I'm going to set my annotation point, and I'll speak into the microphone, and I'll use a keyword here, and I'll be able to immediately place my snapshot. Now, we're using Google Lens and Bing technology. I can capture that image. It's going to bring back several uh, visual matches of that image that I just took a picture of. And I'll be able to begin to refine my search. I can select keywords, which will take me back into the media area. Uh, again, further exploring this content, researching, uh, looking for any text, definitions, images, additional videos that I might want to use. And uh, quickly, I can add that to my lesson content here on site, on location, 
is by tapping once and clicking add. The third option, lower right hand corner, you'll click on this record button. And this will be the 3D recording, which you can uh, set that laser pointer, you can walk and talk around you. It's going to capture this recording in 3D mode. As soon as you've saved it, it will upload that as a file and add it to your content. Point number three, upper right hand corner, you'll click on the start alignment phase. Now you'll have three different points of references. So point number one, I'm setting on the model. And then I have a second dot, which I'll place in the real world object, exactly where I want that model located. So I'm using the, the tip of the model will go all the way here to the right, neatly placing my model in its appropriate location. I'm just mapping out the surface area and choosing exactly where I want that dot. And then we move to the second point of reference. And I'm going to place it towards the end of that scan. And again, I'm going to match it to the real world object, exactly telling exactly where it's going to be placed. Then I have a third dot, which I'll place on the model. And then that will go right underneath that window. And then I'm going to match it to the real world and place it right there underneath that window, um, aligning it to what I just used in that model. And then I'll tap once on to confirm the alignment. As you can see, that model is placed in its location. I'll be able to tap on the annotations area. And that second phase here, upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on hide model. And that will remove the model, but what remains are all the knowledge portals. As you can see, I can move uh, the panels around uh, that I just added through the, these little tools in the lower hand corner. Uh, I'll be able to start listening to the content. Some of them are big, others are smaller, but no less important to the story of space flight. We're about six feet in front of the telescope, so you can take me up from also. Kathy Sullivan was the first American woman to go outside on a spacewalk. I suppose you'd like some tools to work with in a couple hours. Thank you for your time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this brief tutorial of Eon Merged XR.